this is our uh, glanceable display prototype. It's about uh, six times the resolution and about 20 times the area of a Google Glass, but it still looks like a normal pair of sunglasses. Because it's a two-part system, we require the contact lens and the eyewear build-out. We have taken the two uh, pieces apart and taken all the optics away from the eyewear and put it inside the contact lens. That miniaturizes it, um, puts it right in front of our eyes, and it allows the optic to move around with your gaze. So if you look up, that optics follows you. So this is a soft lens version of our special contact lens. It has nanoscale filters and also different optics inside that allow you to see our display. This is our integrated physical mock-up. It has the size, weight, and feel of what our whole integrated system is. And so that will include all the electronics to drive the display, all the sensors, and all the processing of a basically a smartphone without the cell phone antenna. It also includes all the battery power. It's about uh, six times the resolution and about 20 times the area of a Google Glass. But it still looks like a normal pair of sunglasses. The contact lens has multiple optical paths. It has a normal distance vision path where we can put in a prescription to correct your vision. Uh, and it allows you to see your normal environment regularly. We also have a different optical path for the display uh, that allows your eye to be, basically be turned into a magnifying glass. And when you put on our eyewear, you can now see that display in sharp focus. The rest of the technology is in the eyewear. The eyewear has a display either in a glanceable, uh, occluded form factor or in a transparent form factor. And that really depends on what kind of application you want. If you want a mobile application where you just want to put some uh, email content, text messaging, Facebook, that kind of thing on and walk around, then we can do a glanceable display. If you want something much more immersive for gaming, for movies, or for in the future augmented reality, then we move to a transparent display, which allows you to give uh, information anywhere you want to look in a 90 degree field of view um, while still being able to move around and be mobile. Now our technology is the next generation wearable display. Um, and that's where we want to get larger field of view, larger display, and higher resolution. Google Glass has been phenomenal and as a pioneer in this industry, right? Before, uh, two years ago, when, when they had not come out, people didn't know what wearable displays were. And now, no one actually you know, needs to ask that question. And so they've really, really been good in, in getting the public knowledge out there that wearables do exist and they are the future.